a lot of people before serving in the military, especially if you're black, yeah. will have this bias toward white people and mm-hmm. not want to be close to them around like you're yeah. not standing behind me with no gun yeah but when you're out there on the battlefield do you give a damn if it's a white person or asian person or you don't you don't because at that at life when life or death situations come you don't care it's like do you have my back and that's all that matters at that point because if you get to the point where you're in a life and death situation you still have the wherewithal to be biased to someone something is really wrong with you. Like that's deep rooted stuff that you need to go to therapy for. Yeah. Because at the end of the day, we're all going to, we all came in this earth one way and we're all going to leave the same way. Right. Don't wow. Matter. I so, so, so uh, you mean to tell me that when I die, I'm going to have to go back inside of my mama's vagina. Okay. We're going to edit that part out too. <laughs> all right. All right. Ben, wow, don't be wrong with him. <laughs> You just can't help yourself. Me. You're not gonna ask me about my shirt. Plug Stuzo clothing IG. Okay, a shout out to your Black Lives Matter shirt. Where'd you get it? It is not Black Lives Matter. Not that that's anything wrong with that. I sound like oh, we about to get into it. This is about to get good. So I'm sorry. Where you get the Black Magic shirt? So my friend Stony Michelle Love on IG has a store called Stuzo S T U Z O. She is a black woman's black owned business, but she sells gender neutral clothing, okay. you know, so Stuzo clothing, S-T-U-Z-O on Instagram. See, and that so I, I be... like to support black owned businesses. Uh-huh. Sorry, but um, not sorry. Why are you, a, why you say sorry? I just said not sorry. I'm I'm being sarcastic. I do because, you know, we don't get enough uh, attention or we have deep pockets, but we spend it a lot on designers that really never had our faces now, and body figures in mind when they came up with designs and stuff. I'm glad you brought that up because I like to help out people who went through the same things as I did as well. Yes. Black owned businesses is something that my wife and I, we like to support a lot, mm-hmm. but something that I noticed that we do is we support people who su- we support black owned businesses while the people who own the black owned businesses support whatever they want to support. So it's like, why are we doing black owned businesses specifically? I mean, yeah. exactly what are we trying to do? Because it seemed like everybody's wrapped up in just being the flyers, having what that person don't have, um, traveling to where that person didn't travel just so that they can be able to post a video first yeah. and all this mm-hmm. other BS. But when it comes to black owned, um, what exactly are we trying to accomplish? What are you trying to accomplish? Oh yeah, you're in the hot seat now. It's uh, about to be good. No, this so I don't. Listen. I don't necessarily think I'm. <laughs> I don't necessarily think I'm trying to accomplish something per se, but I just know that we've been marginalized as as a whole, right? And so I try to support business. <laughs> <laughs> I can't with you. <laughs> I was trying to stay. I think it's beautiful. Here's the thing. Here's the thing. Um, I get it. I yeah. get it 100% because I I just want people to, I, w- I would love to be a part of a cause that's bigger than just me, bigger than mm-hmm. just them. But it always comes down to greed at the end of the day. And now this trend, this right here will take us over to my next question. Mm-hmm. Because I I made a joke earlier about your Black Lives Matter T-shirt, and uh, you were about to go in and say, you know, no, it's not Black Lives Matter. Not that anything's wrong wrong with that. I'm with you 100 percent on that. I actually think that when when Black Lives Matter first started, my me and my daughters we were downtown Washington D.C. We were in the I parade. The mm-hmm. uh, we were where they painted the ground. Black I Lives went Matter. there, had the fist in the air. Yeah, we had Black Lives fist. Matter Boulevard. Yeah, and it was a whole bunch of people out there from different mm-hmm. places that were starting chants. I'm like, whoa, they good with the chants. They right? are just like, let's I'm go, surprised. let's go another chant, let's do it. Yeah, and we are in it, but I think it went left somewhere. Um, the whole movement of Black Lives Matter. What's your thoughts on Black Lives Matter overall? And and brutal honesty. Brutal honesty, when it first started, I had a big sense of pride about it because I was like, wow, finally people get it. We feel seen. 
And what we kept trying to say for the longest times, it wasn't that nobody else's lives mattered. It was just that for so long in this country, we felt like our lives didn't matter. So to make that a banner was a declaration that our lives do matter. So stop killing us in the street like animals, right? Because it was centered around police brutality. Right. So that was what I had. I had a sense of pride. And I was like, wow, it's like, it's taken a turn in this country that people are really saying that our lives do matter. But what happened? You had so many people angry because a person said, hey, my life matters. Well, what about love? What about this? Doesn't my life matter? Yes, it does. But you're not <laughs> the one who's being killed in record numbers by the people who are supposed to serve and protect. That's all it was supposed to be. And I think it got infiltrated by people who were greedy and tried to make it more about a money earning potential instead of a cause for equality, for reform, for education, as far as like police, you know, right. sensitivity training, whatever they had to do. Right. It stopped being about that. It became more political. And right. once that happened, it went left. And now I don't like it. Well, here's the thing. Um, it's, it's, and just, just so y'all understand, um, and I'm talking to the audience, um, Black Lives Matter had a word had a had a word behind it that was not mentioned in Black Lives Matter. It was supposed to have been Black Lives Matter. Also, Black Lives Matter as well. Two. <laughs> Black Lives Matter too. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? It was that was it that what that's what it was supposed to have been about. Yes. The same reason why people, black people don't like the MAGA because of the last A and MAGA. They're like, again. again? When was again? Please tell me. I got my notes and I'm about to take some notes with this. Please tell me. When was it? Exactly. Because most of us don't give a damn about, well, didn't anyway, because I started diving into it. I don't know if you were a real big history buff, but I was not. When it came to white America, I mm -hmm. didn't care to know anything about it because I was forced in my schools and you probably was too. I don't know if they taught the same things in New York that they did in D.C., but mm -hmm. they made us learn about black history. They forced yeah. it down our damn throats. Mm -hmm. We pause. And yeah. um, but as far as white history or not white history american history yeah they didn't really stress that too much at all at all i had to learn all of the black leaders um but i did not have to learn all of the presidents of the united states well we we did it was it was a mix in new york because you know new york is a little it? bit different yeah so see, we new learned. york is special see y'all yeah. are i don't know y'all are different yeah, it's a little different. A little different. <laughs> a little I don't too know if it's aggressive, a like super aggressive for no reason, but yeah, different. Yeah, they talk like DMX. But no, no. <laughs> well, DMX, that was my guy, man. RIP, RIP yeah. to DMX. That guy was, he was outside at an early, really young age. He yeah. was outside at a very young age. You know, he hopped off the porch about 13 years old and people, like, they just, they just did him dirty. The old heads, that was nice. they did not do him right. Mm -hmm. at all um hey, nasir jones you know holla <laughs> <laughs> have you heard about this whole situation going on with Kyrie irving who hasn't <laughs> who hasn't now i heard that from from hebrew to the negro is what is what the the name of that amazon prime movie yes. is that caused all of this yeah and uh, he asked people, well, he didn't ask people to go check it out. He just mentioned that he, posted he found it. a documentary yeah. that he thought mm -hmm. was interesting, right? Yeah, that's all. And that's all. Say, oh, it's true. He, he never commented that this is a factual document. He basically told people to go check it out. And you can form your mm -hmm. own opinion. Now, I watched a preview and I do have it in my cart. I will be watching it because I want to. You want to see what it's all about? Yeah, but prior to that, I've heard some things like that before, because, again, growing up in New York, there were street corners that had the black Hebrew Israelites and, you know, they shared pamphlets and taught you certain right. things. Right. And it's a historical documentary about the origins of black Israelites and Jews as well. So some people always think that Jewish people are just only Ashkenazi Jews or whatever the whiter Jews, but no, there's Jewish people that look like you and me. 
So what he did was not anti-Semitic because Semite is a language. So if we are origins of Semitic people, how are we anti-Semitic? Because we are posting something about our beginnings. Look at you getting all smarty odd. I'm just saying people jump on bandwagons without doing the research. And where's the outrage at Jeff Bezos and Amazon for actually having the document, the documentary that Kyrie Irving could find to post? It's still on, there. On his platform. It's still there. It's, it's still, still on the there platform. for purchase. It's not even there for free. It's there for purchase. It's you there for rent purchase or, or rent. <laughs> exactly. So where's the big outrage about Amazon airing it? Capitalism. And Amazon having it there and other people. I just, I don't understand the outrage. Jeff Bezos is I'm sure and people too many people are mentioning his name right now um, where he's going to if you're going to watch it you might want to watch it right away because I'm he thinking that a lot of people are getting louder and louder and louder that that bad boy will be taken down very soon yeah in my opinion but Jeff Bezos might be like man kick rocks I'm super rich I don't need y'all but he'll I be doubt a thug like Elon would you say he'll be a thug like Elon yo Elon is petty <laughs> Elon is he's 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 my kind of petty though. 